joined today with uh, by Randy Orbitz, who's being inducted into the Florida State Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Randy, uh, how's that feel? It's awesome. It, you know, I, as I've told a lot of people, you work someplace for 31 years, it's nice to feel appreciated. It really is. Well, you, you certainly have seen a lot, uh, starting off with uh, Don Falls, I guess. Don Falls was my mentor, and he brought me in. One phone call he took in and said, all right, I'm going to hire you. And I was a student trainer. I was a graduate assistant. Um, he hired me as his assistant. So I worked for him for 10 years. And the Gator Bowl in 85 was his last one. And after they, they named me the head trainer after that. And it was tremendous to work for him. Right? Absolutely tremendous. Every day wasn't work. It was fun. I'd sit around with Don Falls for all that time. Yeah, what were some of your favorite memories of Don Falls in, in those days? Just, just how he handled people and stuff like that. He handled the athletes, treated them as, with respect and people and stuff like that. But the one thing we try to tell everybody, everybody liked Don. But you never knew who was going to come in. I mean, you'd see Burt Reynolds one day. You might see the governor one day. You might see an 11-year-old Little League baseball player in there. I mean, he took care of everybody in Tallahassee, plus the Florida State athletes. And he did a great job. So uh, during your tenure, you, you got to work for Coach Bowden and Correct. a lot of other people. Correct. Uh, talk about some of your favorite memories. Uh, at Coach first. Bowden, from the, the, the first day in 76, when I was a student trainer to the day I, he retired, he was the same man. What you saw is what you get. Nice to everybody. Hey, buddy. Shake everybody's hand. He's a, he's a great friend to everybody. He was a taskmaster. He coached him harder in the field, but the kids loved him. Those the athletes absolutely loved him. He was an easy guy to work for. He let you do your job. Randy, I sort of remember that uh, Coach gave Don and you control over if a guy was uh, able to practice, that, right. and you made that decision not to assist the coaches. That, that's correct, yeah. We, with the care of the medical doctors and stuff like that, we had that part of it. And if a guy was on our team, he couldn't practice, he couldn't play in a game, Coach Bowden would say, next man up, let's go. And that's and we had a lot of good athletes, so it was it actually worked to our benefit. Told us some of those athletes, you sit down, it might be like Lou Gehring. <laughs> you never get back you might not get back out there. <laughs> so it worked. Uh, some of the uh, big moments in FSU uh, history you were a part of. Yeah. Uh, what, what stands out in your mind of the moments? It, it was tremendous to play all those big teams early on. We weren't that big a school, and we created a name for ourselves. And then Coach Bowden said, we're going to play anybody, any place, any time. And we did, and we beat a lot of people. But the, the 93 championship, we'd been knocking on that door, and that feeling was a great feeling. But the problem was, you didn't know to the last kick if we were going to win or lose. So it was a little. The Virginia Tech game, when we won in 99, the last two minutes of the game, it was comfortable. I mean, you knew you were going to win, and you also had that feeling. We were the first team to go wire to wire. We started number one and we finished number one. It was a nice satisfaction to know that. But for those two minutes, it felt good because we were going to win. <laughs> You know, the other thing, too, is I think when you win one championship, it's great, but when you win two, it validates. It validates, and, and we, fortunately, we had a chance to win even more. I mean, sure. We were playing in 96, 90, and Winky wasn't able to play out there in the Fiesta Bowl, and then we lost to Oklahoma there in 2000 with, without Snoop. We had a lot of good games, and we had some opportunities knocking on the door, but we got two of them, so that was nice. So I understand now you're... Uh, Tending to tomato plants and not to student athletes. <laughs> I, I have a nice organic garden and I have a nice golf game. I'll say that. So I, I get to enjoy. My foot doesn't right here as much. I can remember to get some phone calls and some of the Yeah, I used to get some phone calls from the press asking things and what the situation was. You had to. You guys were pretty good about understanding what we could say and what we couldn't. Yeah. But everybody kind of worked together. Right? So it was nice. Appreciate your time. Enjoy.